There you go. Up Rodgerson uh, for Prime Minister. Nice to see the big man back. Uh, doing a one-off special video. Uh, very nice to see him. But uh, <clears throat> I think Ant for PM should be a, a YouTube or Facebook um, campaign. He'd, uh, I think he'd probably do a lot better than uh, some of the other clowns we've had over the years. But nice to see you back, Ant. Joking apart with the cracking vid. Um, just a quick update from me today, as usual. <clears throat> Not a lot to report. Certainly no brewing, uh, dynamic brewing footage or anything like that. Just me sat in front of my PC, rambling on for a couple of minutes. Um, what am I brewing at the moment? <clears throat> well, in the moment, in the the FB at the moment, I've got uh, something that I've not done before. I've heard good reviews, bad reviews about these type of kits, but I've never done one before, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's the On The Rocks uh, Mixed Berry Cider. And basically you just uh, put the concentrated um, <coughs> grape juice in to the FB, add dextrose, brewing sugar, and let it ferment away like you would a normal beer kit, I suppose. Once it's fermented, you then uh, add this, which is the cider flavour, stroke mixed berry. Uh, shake it before opening, you put it into the brew. And then you, um, in fact, no, before you put that in, you have to um, siphon off the, uh, the cider into a second FV to get rid of the, the chub. Then you put this in, mix it round before you bottle it. I think this back sweetens as well. Uh, as well as giving it the, the mixed cider flavour. So there we go. We shall see how that turns out. I say I've read good things and bad things on the the internet, but uh, got to try everything once. So we'll give it a go. Oh, I tell you what. <clears throat> while I'm waffling, I shall open up a homebrew. It'd be rude not to. This is a Strongbow uh, glass that uh, someone kindly liberated for me. And what I shall do is try one of my wheat beers. This is um, two and a half months in the bottle now, but it's um, a New Zealand wheat beer. The company in question is uh, Black Rock. And I have to say it's matured week on week in the bottle very nicely indeed. Started off, carbonation wasn't great. But as it's um, spent some time in the bottle, there we go. A bit of the old sediment, seeing it's a wheat beer. So there we go. Lovely and clear. Very, very nice. Let's have a sniff. Yeah, you can smell the banana. As you should do. I will say this has improved in the bottle week by week, let's have a taste. Oh, I've not had one of these actually for about a week and a half, maybe a bit more, and that's, uh, that's really, really, that really hits the mark now. i say the carbonation is absolutely bob on, you can see it there. So the carbonation was somewhat lacking for the first month or six weeks, but that is now absolutely cracking. And it really enhances the flavours on your tongue. And uh, so you can taste the, uh, it tastes like a decent wheat beer to me, so I think I've done a reasonable job there. I shall definitely make another wheat beer. It's one of the things about the, uh, the home brewing. I don't think I'd have had a wheat beer before um, I saw one or two of Christian, Christian Rubez reviews and though he goes to Germany quite a lot with work etc and he loves his wheat beers and uh, I thought oh they seem quite nice, didn't know anything at all about them, oh dear I think I've cut myself, oh dear you're going to you're gonna have to ignore that chap, do apologise and bleeding, I don't know, just had a shave you see, oh dear, okay Things to brew. Oh dear. Ah, call an ambulance. Um, I like mild. I used to drink mild quite a lot when I was younger. So I've got myself a Young's Harvest Mild kit. One from the Tesco direct store, uh, sale. 
Um, yeah, so enough said really. It's a mild kit. If anyone's done one of these before, let me know. I'll be cracking. Excuse me. Um, another one that I got this from uh, Homebrew Online when I got me uh, when I got my uh, King Keg. It's a two is special lager now. Two is when I went to Australia many years ago. We did a tour of um, Australia, and two is was one of the big, you know, the cans of two is the slabs of two is two is was a big old drink over there. So when I saw this that this was on offer because it's coming up to the end date, end of uh, December I think. It was six pound. I thought I'll get one of those, give it a go. Um, I'll brew it up with Brew Enhancer. But I've got some Faultless Flights, which uh, hops, which are like, you know, a mix of American style hops. Um, what's your idea, or what do you think, if I did a dry hop with some of those Faultless Flights, would it enhance the flavour of the brew? Or should I leave it be and see how it turns out? I've also got some Fuggles, but they're really for darker ales, aren't they? Anyway, so that's the two E's. And then <clears throat> I've got a few more of these because I absolutely love these Coopers uh, Pale Ale kits, Australian Pale Ales. They're absolutely brilliant. You can dry hop them with any type of hop really and they just I think they come out brilliant. Absolutely splendid. £10 again in a Tesco sale. And then last but not least, the ginger beer. I do love the Coopers ginger beers. You brew it up and you leave them for three months, you get a splendid, fiery ginger beer. Brew it a couple of litres short as well. <coughs> oh yes. I've got myself some more uh, pale crystal malt. It's already crushed. Uh, and I'll be using those in my um, mild and uh, probably in uh, try them in one of my Cooper's Pale Ale kits and my bitter kits. But they really good to just do a simple steep and it enhances the uh, the mouthfeel and, 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 the, and the body of the beer. And it's only cheap as well and you only need uh, probably a third of a pack each time you're doing a, a brew really, when you're doing a kit brew. Um, so there we go. So that's my update chaps. Short, sweet. Well it's not that short actually, it's nearly eight minutes. What have I talked about? Absolutely nothing. Um, so be watching all your videos thanks very much for the shout out to mr wayne candler very very nice here i do love your brew shed i uh, just hope it's i'm getting a bit worried i hope it's warm enough for you come by christmas time um and that's it really uh thanks very much everyone for watching the videos i'm going to do something about this uh this hole i've got in my neck um but uh thanks very much and speak to you soon bye